Thank you. As, as you all know, this has been a very, very difficult time for the, for the family of Chiron. And remember, this is the one week anniversary, which is very sensitive to us. Uh, we, we very quickly wanted to plan because the family wanted to talk to the news media. They're not prepared to answer any questions. But what, what I do want to tell you is that after, after this press concert, conference, if you'd like, please meet in the, the back here and we'll have Captain Brosh and Mary Lindstrom and they'll give you a way to be able to, to email questions in. We'll make sure the family gets that and they'll review some of those questions for our next meeting time. And I don't know when that is, but we'll figure that out so they can answer some of your questions, which the family knows is very important. But keep in mind, this is very difficult. Here with me today is Kane Harmon. And if you would you like me to spell their names? Kane, K-A-I-N-E. Harmon, H-O-R-M-A-N, Terry Harmon, H-T-E-R-R-I, H-O-R-M-A-N, Tony Young, T-O-N-Y, Y-O-U-N-G, and Desiree Young, D-E-S-I-R-E-E, Y-O-U-N-G. And remember, they stand together here today as a family. Before I let uh, Tony speak one of the two messages, I want to I remind you, if we can get the information out about this is, this is going to be a wonderful weekend, it's supposed to be warm. As you're out there recreating, all our families, keep your prayers and thoughts on our little boy, because you never know the type of information that can come back to us and we can find him. So with that being said, Tony, can you come on down? Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Tony Young, and I'm Kyron's stepfather. Uh, the family has asked me to speak on their behalf today. I would just like to say, Kyron, we miss you, we love you, and we need you home right now. We're doing everything we can to work with the law enforcement and the search and the rescue crews to make sure that you can get back to us as soon as possible. We want to say how much we appreciate the outpouring of love and support, prayer and thoughts, as we wait for you. Your school friends and their families, the teachers, the staff at your school, and the community as a whole have shown how much impact one little boy's smile can have on a community. You mean everything to us, and until you come home, this family is not complete. Please, Kyron, keep up the hope. We believe in you, and we know you will be back with us soon. I'd like to now introduce Kyron's father, Kane Horman. Hi, I'm Kane. I'm Kyron's father. We want to thank the community, the parents, the children, bus drivers, and all of those who are being interviewed multiple times to help find Kyron. Thank you. We as the family know how difficult and stressful this is, but your memories and statements can help us find Kyron. We will never be able to thank you enough for that help. Finally, we would like to thank the media. If it was not for you showing Kyron on every newscast, printing his story in the papers, his face would not be known to everyone. People from around the nation have seen his picture. This helps tremendously. Please help us bring Kyron home. I do, I do want to thank the Brooks Hill Historic Church here today, because without this little office here, we would not be able to get our story out. And we really appreciate not only all the people out there helping us, but as this church as well. With that being said, the family's going to go ahead and leave, and I will have Captain Brosh and Lieutenant Mary Lindstrom answering um, to make sure that you're able to get the questions to them. Thank you. Give us time to get this done, and I'll be there to meet you.